Welcome YouTubers, fans of tabletop gaming, those who are interested in works in progress, also known as a whip. I am doing something for uh, my Tau Army just for home games. Um, it doesn't look much, doesn't look like much right now, but uh, basically what we got here is flyer engine. I have two sensor spines on it. And then I am building a spherical drone. Yep, I'm using Legos. I know, it's terrible. But it's the parts that I wanted, and it's easier just to do it that way. And the concept is, is that this will fit to that. And I'm going to add wings on it um, so that it'll look uh, something like, uh, like this. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. Um, it's going to have the, uh, the main bottom piece, which I didn't draw on here because this was just a, a squiggly idea. But these are the sensor spines here, which are, you know, these pieces right there. And then I'm going to be cutting in some uh, other pieces on the top here. And I don't know if I'm going to have them straight out or if I'm going to have them at an angle like this. Um, but, you know, with this piece, um, here, you know, that's kind of like what I'm shooting for is this kind of spidery probe thing. And, uh, what I'm thinking of doing is, um, setting it up so that I can use it to detect, uh, items that are cloaked or underground or something like that some type of a device that would detect cloaked objects so like if i was playing another tau player and he brought in some um, stealth suits or whatever that um, this little drone would be able to detect that and i'm thinking probably uh, i don't know 18 to 20 inch range i think that might be might be pretty good, maybe 15 to 18, I don't know. But that's the idea. I'm using a styrofoam ball, which is kind of funny, that I got at uh, Michael's. Uh, let's see if I have the package here. Yeah, I do. Here's the package. They're, uh, they're called, hold on a second here, let's see. Floral Craft Foam Mousse. Uh, just the little round balls. I think I paid like three dollars, and there's like fifteen of them, eighteen of them in there. I don't know. It doesn't give you a count number, but I was looking for something that was spherical because originally I was going to do the body more of a you know circular and then tapering off, and then I found these Lego pieces, which I'm still in the process of working on, and I thought, you know what? That's kind of a cool look. What I'm going to do with the the porous part is I'm going to take spackling compound and build up, you know, where it needs to be filled in, like uh, here, fill it in, make sure that this circle on the top, the shield generator, which it actually has, is a shield generator um, in game, will have uh, that space that's between my finger and the styrofoam ball filled in so it's all smooth and sanded down, and then... Uh, attach it to this so that it'll look like some kind of freaky spider but have the capability of detecting stuff uh, with long range I can't get it to stay there okay there we go so that's that's the idea I think it's going to look good. I think it's going to look good. But, yeah, you know, just something I'm working on for fun and giggles. And when it's done, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. I was thinking lionfish. Something fishy for the towel. You know how they do that. But there it is. That's what it's going to kind of look like. Um, these are other concept designs for the eyes to detect and whatnot. And I was thinking about, at first, making it on a standing piece, sort of like... Um, 
Um, Shadow Sun's one main drone that she has. It has that longer body. That was a concept idea. And then I thought, what if I had sensors that ran across the top? And I said, no, that's starting to look too much like Star Trek or something. And I didn't like it, so, you know, here and here. So then I thought, hmm, that looks kind of cool. And I got some inspiration off of uh, our favorite game, Dawn of War 2, and uh, the uh, XV-104, Riptide. So that's it, guys. Just some crazy crap that I'm coming up with to for in-house gaming, for fun and play. This is the engine off of your uh, Tau Fighter or Bomber, whatever you want to use, Sun Shark. But um, leftover pieces. So, yeah, that's my work in progress. I'll give more um, updates when it's done. Until then, have fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.